It's Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers out there in YouTube land around the country and around the world. Um, since we're building the chicken coop, David Ray said I ought to come over and take a picture of the pile. I know I've done this once before and it might be in another video, but out of about six bundles of milled lumber, you can see that we got quite a bit of usable structural lumber and that's what they're using some these uh one by and one and a half inch uh planks is what we're siding the chicken coop with lapboard siding shingling it you start at the bottom work your way up just like when you shingle a house or side a side a, a building with siding but there's some good size like four by eight four by ten stuff in there good solid lumber and they uh <clears throat> give me an idea what the six bundles look like and this is basically for firewood just getting a little bit ahead on next year's next winter's firewood a couple of huge pieces there you can make a three or four coffee tables out of but um and then there's a lot more there's some structural stuff over here the little that pile there is pretty much a decent pile of stuff usable stuff that we separated out but a lot of kindling, a lot of firewood. I'll back off here. So that was basically, I think, six bundles with what's over there you saw. And then he got another one. Or actually, there's two over here. This was for kindling. It's because it was older stuff. So anyway, and that's that's the stuff we got out of this pile here. Smaller stuff there, not any big stuff. But that was not the purpose of it. But we did separate out the usable wood. So there you go. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. And those bundles were like uh, 10 bucks a piece. So a lot of wood there for that. We are not going to be in the same situation we went into this winter with, which was with no firewood at all. The coldest night of the year, I ended up spending five hours literally cooking wood on directly on top of my wood stove to dry it out enough to get it inside so I could burn it and have heat for about a five hour nap and I got to sleep about five o'clock in the morning so I don't want to duplicate that again not even so there's the headquarters the airstream my temporary headquarters Bill got a uh, Connex there's the sheep barn we built and his friend Dave is going to be buying that airstream and coming out and living here from Kansas, so another import, another uh, immigrant. There's an outhouse if anybody needs it. So just a lot of resources here we're accumulating. A little storage pen we bid there for Timmy, the ram that died. Eventually, try to keep him alive as long as we could. There's the uh, Barbado sheep. Okay. There we go. You can see some over there. There's a pond over there that we dug out a little hole in the ground to, for dirt to level the, for the barn, and that's been a pond ever since. Didn't do anything other than scoop out a hole in the ground, and it has never, never not been full of water. So, give you an idea of the water capability here. Dig a hole in the ground, and you got get get your truck stuck in the stuck in the mud, and you got water for the rest of your life. <laughs> so, my son did that. Alrighty, this is Jerry Dime with How to Get Out of Babylon. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant.